Yeah, this is the uh, unveiling. The launch of Rossignol's seven artistic sins. Seven prominent board culture artists from around the world have been given the opportunity to use their style and talent to create original artwork for each of the seven skis. We gave the artists a goal of realizing a sin and then we stepped back and we let them bring everything that they have to the table and you know their particular form or style and then we're just going to lay it on the skis. I'm really excited for now it's like finally it's real art. It's, if, it, if it wasn't on a ski I'd put it on my wall. For the first time the focus is really on the artists and their contributions to our sport. It's cool yeah. This is uh, my first foray into designing skis. Legendary pro skater and artist Andy Howe realized his artistic talents early on. For me, I grew up on cartoons, and then when I was in my teens, I started reading like graphic novels and things, and you can see a real graphic line in all my paintings, though it's a lot looser than what you would see in a comic book. Andy gave us his thoughts on the Seven Sins project. Rosignol just came to us, all the artists, and said, do what you want to do. Here's what a ski looks like. Do whatever you want to do. It hasn't been seen, and uh, it's, it's new. People haven't seen those type of graphics on the skis, at least, you know? So that's huge. Gluttony was pretty easy for Steve Caballero because of his affinity for gas guzzling hot rods. It, it can be gluttony when it comes to having too many <laughs> cars. You know, there's a lot of people that are very overwhelmed with wanting and wanting more and more and more. He's stoked on how his artwork turned out. Um, I think it's great. I mean, I didn't know what to expect as far as what they were going to do with my graphic. You know, I did, and um, it's cool. They had asked me to do something with anger. After a couple of rough sketches, the angry skulls set the tone for this ski. I used to draw on my own skis when I was little, and it was really rough and pretty bad, but now I like to see my thing on the ski, to actually be able to ski on my thing, it's like, it's going to be pretty wild. The creativity that the artist put into the graphic will find that he'll be, it'll make it easier for him to be creative in the mountain, which I thought, you know, so it's an inspiration of sorts. What better place to kick off Rossi's new premiere than Evo in Seattle, an ultra-progressive, one-of-a-kind ski shop? We are kind of the, the crossing point between sports and art and music and culture, and it's very cool to see um, a manufacturer that we've worked with for a long time kind of take a step toward doing that same thing. I think that you'll see um, in the future um, a migration towards giving the artist the credit and you'll see a lot more creative uh, graphic on ski and snowboard product for sure. Oh, I'll feel cool as heck when I put those things on my feet <laughs> for sure.